Alright guys, welcome back. I'm Big Mac Davis here, and welcome back to some more Wolf and Doom Blade of Agony. This is part four. We are still on this mission, but hopefully we can beat it now in this particular episode, maybe. Let's find out. Through the red door we go to butcher. Butcher all the enemies in our way. Get out of here, doggo. Alright. So let's just ransack everything. Yeah, it's a locked door. Oh boy, this calls probably for the rifle. Gotcha. 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 <laughs> I feel like... I, I really do feel like a uh, soldier. It's like, sign me up for the army right now. I can do this same stuff. Not really. <laughs> you guys do not want to see Big Mac Davis in the army. <laughs> oh, gosh. Can't imagine. And I'm talking about any army, for that matter. Alright, well... I think I saw some... Yeah! I saw some gold over there. I'll go pick that up. Maybe maybe the Nazis have set a trap for me and they want me to be allured by the gold. Put this gold into his bottomless treasure sack. Just like BJ always has. Alright, well I guess that was all the enemies. Let's see, can we get up here? Okay, probably not. Ooh, more ammo. Can always take more ammo. But yeah, BJ has a bottomless treasure sack it seems, doesn't he? He had it in Wolfenstein 3D. Now he has it here. So, I'm looking around, like, I'm just looking around for some secrets, maybe. If I can just notice anything right off the bat, which I don't. Hey, it's like a water tower up there. Okay, so, no entrance into this building. How about this gate? No, but there is a passageway in there. Can I destroy these barrels? Um... I can. <laughs> I did... <laughs> I can destroy the barrels, apparently. I did not know that that would go boom like that. Big Mac Davis went boom. Ow, that kind of hurt. No, doggo. Stop it, doggo. Stop it. Stop it, mind sweetness. Alright, let's, uh, pay attention here. Got you both. Got you up there. Now there's one more guy on the roof. Got you. One guy around the corner. Yeah, this game is hard if you try and rush it. Um... Well, we are in World War II, so I'll go ahead and make a World War II joke. Um, we can't be Russian. We gotta be Stalin. <laughs> funny, funny joke, huh? Russian and Stalin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you. I did not think these would blow up because there's nothing on them. Oh! Oh! A bowl of dog food. Well... That was... So I guess it is worth blowing up the barrels, at least. I'm not sure about the potted plants or whatever, but... At least the barrels... That is solid proof that blowing up barrels nets you some rewards sometimes. Okay, enough diddle-daddling. Let's go ahead and go through now. 
Okay, halt. Be quiet. I'm trying to aim for the head, but... Octoon! Hitler! Oh, there's another one of those things. I'm not even sure what those things are. But... And I still have no idea if destroying the potted plants has anything useful. But I do it anyway. Hmm. There we go. I have no idea what this even is. Hey, that's not a secret. Hey, Fanta! I like Fanta. There's a switch. Oh, that opens the gate. Can I... No, I can't get through there. Okay. So the gate is open. Let's save. Have it save for a while. Let's go part... Uh, four. Ooh. You're dead. Okay, that's a locked door. Oh my goodness, Indiana Jones. Well, well, well. I like Indiana Jones a lot. One of my favorite movie franchises of all time, excluding the fourth episode. Which, the fourth, the fourth movie of Indiana Jones wasn't bad. It just was not good. Blue Key. You're dead. Whoa, 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 whoa! Gee! Stay on the ground there, sucker. Don't pretend you die, that's unethical. In war, you're supposed to fall dead, or you're supposed to not fall at all. Alright. Are these... Yeah, lights were already turned on, I kind of figured that. Yeah, that's the rules of war, sucker. Oh, there's the blue key. Oh, some gold. Bag of coins. Blue key is mine. And, uh... Damn, we're looking good. Alright, something tells me there's going to be a trap. So I'm going to save again. No trap? Okay, well, fair enough. I'll take the no trap, but there may be, may be some enemies behind here. Should have used my knife. Objective completed. What was my objective? Oh, find entrance to the laboratories. Okay. Now, I don't know how far I have to get before I'm unable to backtrack. Because I know now my next objective, guys, is to kill Shabs Jr. I imagine when I kill Shabs Jr., the mission will be over, and I probably, this is not like Golden Souls 2, I probably will not be able to come back here. Yeah, that's a vent I can't get through. So, what I'm going to do is save it here, and then... That was cool. Doom door sound. I could really use some health. What, I can't kick now? I could kick before. How come I can't kick now? My quick kick doesn't work anymore. Really? Last episode I was able to. Um. Oh, that's enhanced options. Okay. Um. Yeah. Or why? Yep, I can't quick kick. Don't know why. Um, oh, wait a minute. My run bar is flashing. Or maybe that's just my health. And Because I know quick kicking uses my run bar. Oh, well. Maybe I can just bash open the vents, too. That probably would work as well. Yeah, that's locked. 
Alright, enough fooling around. Let's go. You're dead. Gotcha. Ooh, yeah, we're in the laboratory. Oh, oh. People saw me. There we go, that works. Whew. Man, I could really use some health. Thank you. 10% is better than nothing. Now these, they definitely look very... bad. I guess not. I wonder, can I... I can hit them, but nothing happens. I thought they would explode into, like, maybe... I don't know. Hazardous materials? You know, something Half-Life related? Okay. No people allowed in those machines. Obviously. <laughs> ah, okay. What? I can't... Get through there. Or can I? Can I use my knife? I was thinking about. Like, see, I can get through here, but I can't get through the bottom of the stairs here. So I don't know what's up with that. Maybe I have to climb over? See, there's this upper balcony here. Oh, this door can be open. Okay. Oh, that's where I came from. But maybe there's something I missed. Okay, there's the blue door. That's where I came through at. Oh, this door is now open. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> I'm slow, guys. I'm sorry. No ammo you guys dropped? Okay. Okay. I could always use more ammo. Labor. Labor. Dead. Dead. Oh my gosh, that is Shabs Jr. up there. That is freaking Shabs Jr. Um, I don't think I want to kill him yet, because I imagine killing him will end the mission. So... Yeah, Shabs Jr. has a son named Shabs, named Dr. Shabs Jr. Now, what's Dr. Shabs' first name? Because Shabs is a last name, so... Alright, so what I'm going to do here, I guess this is a secret finding day. The two missing secrets. Um, oh, there is a secret here beyond the blue door, though. Okay, where am I? It's not through here. Oh boy, Golden Soul is all over again, where I don't know where I'm going. Okay, through the blue door. I know this is, like, ridiculously cheating, but I want to find everything. And I don't want to spend a gazillion years looking for it all. That's four of five secrets. Um, okay, one, two, three, four. Um, let's see. Where would the other secret be? It's not marked on the map. Oh, yeah, it is. It's down there. Okay. Well, let's go, then. This is kind of a secret area day. I'm feeling secretish. Oh yeah, getting out here. I forgot about this. Hmm, I blew up that barrel, but I doubt that had anything to do with getting up there. 
Let's go through here. Maybe there is a way... No, there is no way in, actually. It's, like, cut off by this wall completely. We'll blow that up. Hmm, but this is a gate, though. Which makes me wonder if the gate can be opened by a switch or a trigger or something. The secret's right there. Hmm. I really need some health. I I took a lot more damage than I intended to. But I am not going to reload the game for taking damage from enemies. I wonder if I can... I should, probably shouldn't be... I probably shouldn't be hitting my shovel against things that could hurt. Let's see if there's a hidden switch in here. Anywhere. I know in Return to Castle Wolfenstein there was a number of these switches that were so small. Insignificant little tiny switches that you normally wouldn't have been able to find uh, by normal means, but you had to look pretty, pretty carefully um, in order to find them. Personnel. Um, yeah, that looks to be the ending room completely. Over there, there's like nothing else to really do. The answer's got to be outside. I don't think I'm meant to come this far to find the answer. Open this gate. There are some barrels over there, but I can't shoot through. Shoot the water tower though, but nothing happens. Is there a way inside of this building? No. Destroy the little tree. Alright, well, we're in a bit of a pickle, I guess. Hmm. Unless I come in through the other way. Man, what's all over here? Kind of curious. Oh, wow. There's a lot of things back there, actually. All right. Mm. So I am meant to get back there somehow. Oh, wait a minute. I think I'm meant to come through here later. I bet you that's what it is cuz I saw it like I saw an exclamation point guy. That may be the guy that I make contact with after our mission's done. I just realized that. Now I'm an idiot. See, I'm so... See, my fear comes because I don't want to destroy the boss too early. Because the game might, you know... The game, I mean, the level might be over completely and then I won't be able to come back. But I shouldn't be worried about things like that because I can always reload. Let's... There's other enemies, too, I want to kill. I want to get 100% kills. How many enemies are left? Okay. Nine more. I know there were some enemies outside the gate, so... I'll just kill you. Yes, this is an ultra-violence. Maybe I should use my pistol. Save some ammo. And he throws... I think he throws, um... Syringes, just like his father. Oh. 
Oh, he's dead. Objective completed. Okay, cool. He wasn't that hard. Picked up a medium med kit. He didn't drop anything for me. So, kill Shabs Jr. and collect intel. All the objectives are complete. Primary and... Oh my gosh. Look what they were doing. Experiments. Mutant experiments, looks like. Yeah, with all of this hazardous waste. Something tells me... Picked up secret files. There we go. What? You must have gotten their attention. The alarm's been activated. Meet me at the extraction point of the east. There's a switch there in the lab that'll open the gate. If I had just waited. And what's this? Do I blow it up? Yes. I'm gonna save here. So it looks like, yeah, they were making some mutants. What are these? Can I collect these? I can destroy them. Yes, let's destroy everything. No mutant shall be made if BJ has anything to say about it. Um, I want to look at this picture. Dr. Shab, so that's... Boy, is he ugly. Octoon! That must be the switch. Oh, yep. See? The gate's been opened in the security monitor. Alright, cool. I think that's it. So let's get the heck out of here, then. Oh my gosh, he had a machine gun. Part. Sorry, sweetness. Load this now that I got the ammo for it. How many enemies are left now? Oh wow. We just keep climbing in enemies. Oh my goodness. Rifle time. Oh, I think I got him. Yes, his rifle fell down for me to grab. Good, good. Come here, sweetness. Sorry, sweetness. Eighty-four of ninety-one enemies. Snag that. Okay, the gate has been opened. Shoot. I can't see because of the fire. We'll snag this secret. Sorry, sweetness. Well, I was shooting you. You didn't die. You're dead now. I blew up something. Where's your ammo clip? Let's make sure we get all the ammo clips. I don't want to... The armory guy back at the base is pretty stingent with his um, prices, and I don't want to pay the extra fees if I don't have to. So let's gather up all their ammo. Which that seems to be it.
Missing three enemies, got all the secrets. Missing... Wow. That's it. That's all the enemies. Now... Did I get all the gold? That's my question. Uh, it's hard to tell if I did or not, but... I mean, they do appear kind of bright on the map, so I assume I did. I'm gonna assume I did. That's pretty cool how they do the uh, alarm system. All those triangular... Yeah, that looks to be everything. I got all the secrets, so... Let's go, then. Hey, there you are. Dirty Douglas. Oh, right, we do return here. Cool. So... I can't talk to you anymore. Whoa, what's... Oh, I thought that was a gold in there. I was like, oh boy. Still the snarling sweetness. Alright, let's go get patched up. Yes, sir. Captain, any wounds we need to take care of? Yes, please. Yes, 100% now. Yeah. Um, what's the current situation? Do you, um... Okay, you don't tell me anything new. I will take care, Sergeant. Let's go to the armory, now that I got all this gold. Well, how much money do I have? Do, it, so is the gold amount the dollars I have? Um, what do I want to spend it on? I don't really have a problem with... Um, so, with um, a backpack yet. I haven't gotten full ammo yet, even without a backpack. But that might be worth something to get early, but uh, maybe not. Armor doesn't... I mean, I find armor in the wild, so maybe I shouldn't invest in it quite yet, but maybe I should? Mm. Hard to say. Health plus 25. Vitality serum. My health is rarely over 100% anyway, so I doubt that would be any of use. Mind detector, that might... Eh, trial and error, though. Um... I don't know what to buy first. You know what? I'm tempted to buy the backpack first, but... Let's do it. I can't afford that? How much is it? Oh, 250 only got 185 Well, we'll wait. We'll wait to buy the backpack, then. Because I want to buy the backpack. So I can't do a quick kick. What makes me do a quick kick? I'm confused now. Hmm. Okay, well I did it uh, outside. Okay. Let's... Fire extinguishers. I can't use my weapons here. But I do have one grenade, it says. Uh, you're, you're still peeing. Someone... Oh my gosh, someone left... Someone left something. Mm, yeah, what about vents? Mm, so watch for vents that look weak. You can break through with these bullets or even your boot. Doesn't say how to get your boot activated though. Okay, so... It doesn't tell me how to get my boot active. I wish I knew how. Because... Let's turn on some Blakestone. Hello there. Bye! <laughs> that, that looks delicious. Alright, nothing new in here. Let's take these files to the laboratory guy. How can I help you? Um, I have Eisenman files. 
Donkey man, but I still need more information to complete the report. Okay. So... No, you don't. Okay, so I, I gave him some of the files, but he needs more. Okay. Well, aren't you a snob? I had to do all the work, well... Oh man, I want to play Golden Souls 2 again. You don't have that cartridge. I guess you find these cartridges out in the wild? I guess you do. I mean, I'm just guessing. I have no idea. This is like... I consider the Blakestone soundtrack one of the best Bobby Prince soundtracks, actually. Okay, I've already been through here. Let's go back. So up here... Um... That's locked. Training. Can I do training again? Where's that vent that I saw? Ah, can't do training anymore. That's okay, we already did it. Alright, so... Here's that vent. But I can't break through! Why? Why? Maybe it's for later usage. Alright. Okay, oh, this door can't be opened. Okay, that was just the tutorial. So, let's go on. Now, two guys I can talk to in here. Let's talk to you. Sergeant Asher, sir, when you're in the field, be aware of the most dangerous hazard out there, landmines. You'll encounter two different kinds, the ones you can obviously see and easily avoid, and the buried ones, which can be deadly. A good way to locate buried mines is to crouch and watch for little bumps in the ground. Don't rush when you're avoiding them. Be cautious and take your time. But if you have some cash, the best way to locate mines is to get yourself a mine detector from the armory. Just keep an eye on the battery level. See, that's what I didn't pay attention to, was the battery level. <laughs> okay, so he gave me a good hint, actually. A good way to locate buried mines is to crouch and watch for little bumps in the ground. So I'm going to look out for... I don't need a mine detector, then. I can just do that. Save some cash. Alright. Welcome back, Captain Blaskowix. We're prepared to commence our next operation. Are you ready to answer the call of duty? Bring them on. Operation Exodus. Excellent work in Tunis, Blaskowix. Captain Blake had nothing but glowing praise for your performance. The documents you found have been sent post-haste to our top cryptologists. With any luck, they'll soon uncover what the Jerrys are up to. With that in mind, we cannot rent on our laurels just yet. The boys over in Intel have intercepted and de decrypted an alarming message. One of our spies, Captain James Ryan, was recently captured by the SS during a recon mission in France. We must free him before the Nazis get information that could seriously hamper our war effort. Our latest intel indicates he was sent to St. John, a notoriously, a notorious high security prison that nobody has escaped from, or attempted to break into for that matter. At least, not until now. We're going to show the Jerrys that their prison isn't so impenetrable after all. You are to do whatever it takes to infiltrate St. John, liberate Captain James Ryan, and bring him back here in one piece. Although you have been trained to resist interrogation, being captured by the Nazis would surely be a fate worse than death. We're giving you a standard issue cyanide capsule, just in case, Blaskowitz. Speak to Captain Blake before departing. You are dismissed. And that's what they would do. They would give the soldiers cyanide capsules and order them to take the cyanide rather than be captured. Alright. So who do I talk to? Um, oh. I guess... It doesn't tell me who to talk to. Happy to hear something perhaps go wrong. 
Oh, I didn't know it would repeat that. Alright, we'll just quickly go through this again. Sorry about this, guys. Probably talk to the same guy, I would imagine. Captain Blake. I gotta find Captain Blake. Okay. It's a good thing exclamation points turn back to yellow when something new has to be said. I like that. Oh, that's you again. Well, looks like I have to go with you. Let's turn all that off. Okay. So I still can't get to that one secret yet, or the two monsters, wherever they are. So there's two Nazis here in our camp. I wonder who they are. Things are certainly getting heated quickly, eh? The last time we were in France trying to get into anything named Jean, we weren't talking about saints or prisons! Oh my goodness! <laughs> they were talking about getting into... someone named Jean, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh. But fond memories aside, be careful, <laughs> Will. <laughs> I'd hate to lose a good friend so soon after you've come back. We haven't even had shot glass pour us a well-deserved drink yet. Anyway, I'm not good at long goodbyes, so let's go. Okay, well... Ooh, it's... We're, we just arrived from a boat. Alright, we're deep in enemy territory, so proceed with extreme caution. With any luck, we should be able to get both you and Ryan extracted in one piece. Make those bastards uh, pay for taking one of ours, but don't do anything stupid, okay? Alright, man, I won't do anything stupid, I promise. American flag, okay. Well, we're in France now. And, ooh, there's a Nazi guard tower up there. Gotta be careful of that. So, until we see each other again, guys, next time, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and I will see you when I see you guys in Part 5 of The Blade of Agony with a new mission. And what's this called, by the way? I'm just curious. C1M2 Operation Exodus, with 230 monsters, 5 secrets, and 2 items. I see there's already a secret right near us, right off the bat, so next time we'll go tag that secret. So, take care, everybody.